today I'm going to show you how to customize your WordPress theme. This is my default theme. After customize uh, the WordPress theme, it will look like this. So first, you need to active a add-ons. That's name is Firebug. I am using Mozilla, and Firebug is Mozilla add-ons. You can edit, debug, and monitor CSS, HTML, and JavaScript live in any web page using these developer tools. So and another thing you need to understand the wordpress theme structure every wordpress have a common header section footer section and sidebar section but sidebar section is not mandatory but header section footer section is mandatory for wordpress theme and another part is style.css for start customizing this wordpress theme i need to log in wordpress admin dashboard now i am going to Login. Okay. This is my WordPress admin dashboard. Now I am going to select appearance and customize. Customize have some default function to add edit the WordPress theme. Now I am going to change the theme color. So I need to select the color and then base color. I am going to make it gray. Okay, this is my gray color. And then back I will add an image on the header add image uh, if I need I can upload from here or I can use already uploaded image I'm using okay this part is done now I'm going to save and publish and then back refresh the base and let's see the update this is the update now I'm going to add a text top of the header uh, for adding this I need to know what div are using for this header part I'm going to active the firebug add-ons firebug I'm going to go like this okay this is my class so I need to add a text top of the class so it will be show here this is the header section you know now I'm going to editor uh, admin dashboard appearance and editor so here is the header.php I will find the class okay this is the class so I need to add text here I'm using h1 tag for understand uh, the text will be uh, show big bigger h1 this is custom custom text now close the html my header h1 tag update the page and refresh it this is my custom header text now i will change the color of the header top section I'll change this section color so again I'm going to click on the fire bug I tools and then I am selecting the div I need to change the background of this stick okay I'm going to add a new rules background background color is orange orange okay I will add padding 5 pixel first okay now I will copy this text and paste it bottom of style.css uh, I will find the style.css from appearance editor and right side has the all the theme file I'm selecting this style.css and I will put it this bottom of the page I'm adding this class bottom of the style.css update the file and let's see what update is showing okay it's working now I'm going to change the I'm going to change the footer background uh, the footer class I have already footer class just I will add a background uh, the background background color 
screen background color screen okay the background color screen I will add on the the foot control F find okay okay this is my folder class I will add the background color green Now I will add a uh, now I will add a uh, extra uh, text that means uh, some text or div here again for you understand so I need to go back in the footer section because I want to add here some text I'm going to head under PHP and then I need to know the div name this is my image so after header image I need to add a text upper header image I'm going to find control F header image this is my header image start and here is the header image and this is my loop and so I will add a text here uh, it's called h4 tag and text tdx text whatever text I want I can add here h4 I'm going to close the header for tag h4 tag okay, now I'm going to refresh my text will be show here this is my text it's showing here I will add a some inline CSS if I need I can add inline CSS also here uh, let me add inline CSS okay now I will uh, change the background color gray gold okay that text alignment center font size font size will be 20 picture so it's going large padding then px if I, want, I can add the padding or whatever style property I need so now I'm going to add this as a inline size I will copy this for tag and I will put it on the still tag so this is my inline CSS part and here is my custom text so I'm going to update this part it will show here again now I uh, I will show how you will add a sidebar background just select the sidebar this is your sidebar complete div add a new rows background color orange okay uh, you can select this part also this is your article so if you need a border section you can add a rows article border border to px solid and the uh, uh, solid is the border style and now you need to add the border color is white okay so the border is camera but you need to add this class into your style.css because the uh, the live was well just I'm watching what will be front and after edit the style CSS using the firebar so you need to add all change in your style.css or your header.css or footer.css what section you want to customize so using this process for update your text size uh, text border and background color for changing look like this issue and add your HTML CSS I think it will be uh, help to customizing your WordPress website look like you want thank you for watching this video